What is up guys? Welcome to your last CSS animations tutorial for HTAs. So in this one what I said is that I would show y'all how to convert this back to vScript if y'all wanted to. So first things first, uh, let's go ahead and run this actually. So this is our application so far and you know you put something in, hit the enter button and submit your your field like so. And um, if you actually want to see the animation in its full glory, you'll have to run this for yourself. As I've said before, my screen capture drops some frames here and there. So let's convert this to vScript. Well, first of all, if you did what I did and you removed the submit button um, from the last tutorial, then I'm just going to get rid of this CSS style because we really don't need it anymore because that button is gone. Um, if not, just keep that there. Alright, next up is you want to set the content down to 10. Now, we're going to use 10 because 11 doesn't support vScript anymore. So we have to go down um, to below 11, so 10, 9, 8, whatever version you want to use. But we're specifically using 10 because that's when animations are allowed. So since we have those in our script, we're kind of stuck with using 10 for this example. Now go down to your script, change this to rescript right here and then let's start the conversion so first off you can either use a function or a sub right here we're gonna do window underscore onload and then just delete this rest so that's our start and then this is our finished function and in vscript you actually type out end function and then in between here we're gonna get rid of all the semicolons and then also in vscript you don't use parentheses around things unless you're setting them to something or calling them or something so get rid of the parentheses as well now let's go down to the next one so function check pass we're gonna delete the curly because that's the start of it and then go down here to the end and that function now your if statements you don't have to capitalize these, but usually vScript is capitalized, so I'm going to do that. And then here we put then, and then again, you don't use parentheses here. vScript only uses one equal sign for comparing things. So there we go, and then let's end this if statement, which is here. So end if, and then let's do these as well. So if, delete that, parentheses, delete the extra equal sign, Okay, for our else, it's just else like this, and you don't need a then statement, so just leave it blank, and then right here, type out end if. Okay, now let's go through, let's remove all the semicolons. There we go, and then let's also remove any extra parentheses, so around our set timeout functions, here, 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 and there. Oops, and then also right here. Looks good. Let's move on to the next one. Function. Get rid of that. And this function. One equal sign. Delete that. Okay, and then in vscript, else if is smash together so just move this if statement closer like that again no parentheses no extra equal sign and then we need to add then statements too I forgot to put that up here so put a then smash that if statement to it delete delete the extra equal sign and delete these two and add a then And then here is the end of this if statement up here, right here. So let's end that right there. And now let's go through and delete the semicolons. Here, here, here. All right, that looks golden. Let's go ahead and run this and make sure it works. Here it is. Do a bad one, works just correctly. Do the correct answer and it works as well. So that's how to convert it to vScript. Couple things you should note before I leave y'all. Um, right here, okay. 
So we use single quotes in here. In JavaScript, you can flop these. So you can do a single quote outside like this. And then inside you can use double quotes. So if you're using JavaScript, you can swap these however you like. But in VScript, you'll get an error. So let me run this. And notice we get this error. That's because in VScript, single quotes is a comment, like commenting out something. So you don't want to do single quotes starting off. You can have single quotes inside of a string though, and VScript just treats that as a apostrophe key, so that's fine. Otherwise, if you don't want to have any single quotes, you can do double quotes like this. And VScript converts double quotes inside of a string into single double quotes. So inside VScript, when it reads this, this will be converted to just one of these. So we can run this too, just so that you can see this. It still works just fine. So again, you can use single quotes if they're inside strings. If not, use double quotes if you don't want to use single quotes. One other thing is obviously this wouldn't work for everything. So because our HTA application is very simple, this conversion was pretty flawless. But if we started to use JavaScript functions and stuff in here, like a uh, substring, getting or slicing or adding, making it an array and all this stuff, then we'd have to go into more detail and find the vscript equivalent of that. So it's not going to work flawlessly just by getting rid of semicolons and changing the function name. So just keep that in mind. There will be some JavaScript things that don't directly convert to vscript and you'll have to find a way to do that in vscript. All right, so that is it. So if you do want to write these in vscript, you can do it. I wrote this series in JavaScript just to show you that it's not that hard to do it in JavaScript. It's really not a whole lot different and JavaScript in the long run is probably going to make it easier on you because it has a lot more compatibility with HTML. So I would recommend writing your HTAs in JavaScript. And if you're wondering, well, what if I wanted to run a file or something? How would I do that in JavaScript like I can in vScript? So like in vScript, you know, you can just do set shell equal to create object and you can run something in here like a file or a program or something. Well, you can do that in JavaScript as well if you needed to, just by doing this. ActiveX object, and I believe this is the correct way to do this. I should know, I just used this command in a big in a program I built recently, but you can look it up if it's something wrong with it. But in JavaScript, it should be var, uh, whatever you want to set it to, new active x object and then w script shell and you can do this with a uh, scripting dot file system object too if you want to edit actual files and write to them and stuff so you still have access to the create object method in in vscript so don't let that hold you back from writing in javascript all right that's it though feel free to write it in what you want uh, just note that internet explorer version 11 you can no longer write in vscript